Perhaps the Chancellor has been taking inspiration from the characters in Alice in Wonderland, or should I say, Alice in Sunakland? Because nothing here is quite as it seems either. It's the sort of place where a Chancellor celebrates giving people £200 to help them with their spiralling energy bills before explaining that he needs it all back. In Sunakland, the Chancellor proclaims, I believe in lower taxes, while at the same time as hiking Alice's national insurance contributions. So Alice asks the Chancellor, when did lower taxes mean higher taxes? Has down really become the new up? The Chancellor follows Humpty Dumpty's advice and says, when I use the word... It means just what I choose it to mean, (laughs) neither more nor less. Now, Alice knows that under the Conservatives, taxes are at their highest level in decades as a result of the policies of this very same Chancellor. In fact, this Chancellor was the only G7 finance minister to raise taxes on working people during this crucial year of recovery. Curiouser and curiouser. (laughs) As Alice climbs out of the rabbit hole to leave Sunak land, she recalls the words of the white rabbit and concludes that perhaps the Chancellor's reality is just different from yours. (laughs) The actual reality, Mr Speaker, is that this Chancellor's failure to back a windfall tax and his stubborn desire to pursue a national insurance tax rise are the wrong choices. In eight days' time, people's energy bills will be rising by 54%. Two weeks today, the Chancellor's latest tax hike will start hitting working people and their employers. His national insurance tax rise was a bad idea last September, and he's admitted it's an even worse one today. The Chancellor is making an historic mistake. Today was the day to scrap the tax rise on jobs. Today was the day to bring forward a windfall tax. Today was the day for the Chancellor to set out a plan to support British businesses. But on the basis of the statement today and the misguided choices of this Chancellor, families and businesses will from now on endure significant hardship as a result. The Chancellor has failed to appreciate the scale of the challenge that we face. And yet again, he is making the wrong choices for our country.